Okay, this is the July 11 meeting of the uh, Conway Select Board. Uh, we're being recorded by um, Frontier Access Community Television. Um, and I don't believe anyone else is recording us. All right, first item on the agenda, we've got the June 27, 216 minutes. Um, you have a chance to go over those. Yes, they look good. And made those. Yeah. Uh, little minor <coughs> things on that. Looks good. Okay. Did you? Uh, we did, did it. Yeah. Straight good. We, we just want to name change. Change that's all. We'll make a motion that we accept the minutes of uh, June 27th. Second. Second. All in favor. All right. Okay. All right. Next item on the agenda, we have two warrants. We have a payroll warrant for 118,000. $923 and a payroll deduction warrant of $30,417. We also have a vendor warrant. Uh, we don't have the exact amount on that, but I'll make a motion that we approve all three warrants. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any meetings attended by select board members? Yes. Last uh, Wednesday evening, John. I mean, Tom and myself met with uh, Janet Shade, wasn't it? This open space committee meeting, but uh, fresh my memory, Tom. Uh, uh, Michelle. Michelle. Uh, Touré. Tour Touré was down there with us, and uh, we walked the field to look at this uh, Rose property, to look at the uh, uh, basic plants. We got a good little tour of the place, I think. Yeah. It worked out very nice. I thought made us more aware of the basic plants that are there, and how the town should be considered dealing with them. And, uh, I was kind of pleased with me. I know what time, but yeah, very informative. Very informative. Okay, great. Good. Last Thursday, I attended a meeting of the uh, Franklin County Selectmen's Association. It was held in Charlemont. Um, we had some uh, state reps there from a DOT uh, who were explaining the uh, the small bridge program. Mm. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, very good meeting. Uh, Does anyone have, have any idea of when it might be uh, <coughs> funded? Uh, it looks like it's going to be funded pretty quickly. Okay, good. Yeah. Because there, I know there are state budget woes. Yes. Yeah. It's not going to be a, a lot of money funded, is it? No, not a lot. Of when money. it's spread out through the whole state. So. Yeah. Uh, but but it's going to they're going to try to. Uh, make sure that there's an equitable distribution of the funds. Nice. Good, good. They uh, should, uh, I, I've advocated in the past doing it, uh, having bridges per capita be part of the formula, because of course we have more bridges and fewer people out here in mm -hmm. the West. So sure. We, that would yes. be one way of providing mm -hmm. some, sure. some yeah. equity. I, I think they're considering a number of different formulas for that, because they understand the fact that in Western Massachusetts we we have a problem with the bridges, yeah, especially the smaller ones. Good. Okay, we have any citizens concerns? No, I guess not. Okay, old business. Uh, we have to sign the contract for the South River floodplain lowering project. Now this is what we've already gone over. Um, yeah, this is the result of all those, all that planning and mm -hmm. stuff. It is a reduced project because yeah. of some uh, landowner concerns. Right. Um, yeah. About half of what's or two total thirds of what it was. What's the total dollar down to? Uh, you know, I don't know offhand because some of it's uh, grant funded. Two hundred forty-three thousand. We appropriated three hundred thousand, I think. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Was, yeah. yeah. Like that was the taxpayers voted. Yeah, this is this is this is coming uh, basically from grant grant funds uh, and some community preservation, I think. right? Maybe a hundred thousand in community preservation. So we should be saving quite a bit of that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't need to. I think the taxpayers vote. I could be wrong. I thought it was three hundred thousand. Hmm. That's pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a local com company that uh, has got a contract on that, so that's good. Uh, I'll make a motion that we sign the contract. So second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
My next on item on the agenda is to sign the contract for new ecology for phase one of the town of Conway solar community, uh, town solar shared community solar. And, and I believe Bryce may actually be in later to talk about that. Okay. Um, I know he's not here now, but perhaps we could. Uh, Postpone it? Yeah, yeah, let's. Yeah. Okay, if Bryce is going to come in, then we'll. Uh, oh, Hold off on that. All right, next item is the uh, Shevsky Conservation Restriction. You're up. Thank you. So, um, my name is Elaine Pedroy, Director of Land Conservation at the Franklin Land Trust. And um, as you probably recall, we were in a few months back. Um, closing on the um, Dana Street conservation mm -hmm. conservation restriction um, that's over 300 acres and he retained an envelope around his um, what is now a yurt but could be a house mm -hmm. and so part of the, the kind of finishing off of this teamed up project which um, teamed up mostly because both of them needed surveys to really figure out what their boundaries were and they both came to us at similar times is um, Samuel Dashevsky and Martha Reynolds, who own this parcel here, mm -hmm. which is about third, excuse me, 49 acres. And as we were discussing, this is, is at the end of Harrison Road, where it just stops and there's a pull-off. Um, and this road is said to be discontinued into um, what is essentially um, state forest and mm -hmm. fish and game land. Um, they still own this. They do still own that, and they come there about, probably about twice a year. They come and visit. And no, yeah, no, no, not the very often. Yep, they'll be there in September again. Um, and so they just wanted to, you know, make sure that it was conserved and also retaining an area where they could build. Um, and so we've been working with them to get the. That's what this is here. So, so if you look on, it's kind of hard to see. I do apologize, but yes, that's what. This area is here. They, they're okay. basically keeping out an envelope, the area in, in which they could put a single dwelling and any improvements that needed to be put along with a single dwelling. Um, understanding that they're at the end of a discontinued road, they had to maintain some access off of Main Poland Road, which is really their legal access to the property, mm -hmm. which is right there. So they just they defined it, as you can see on that map, as along the Woods Road that already exists, which is not in, not um, improved at all yet, but it exists. It's been there for quite a long time. And so by keeping an envelope, the, the land where they could build and the rest of the conservation area will stay together. So this parcel will always be a 49-acre parcel with the, mm -hmm. the ability to put a house in. How, how big is the building? It's about 18 acres. 18. It's fairly large, mostly just to encompass where the um, Woods Road comes, which is on the other side of the stream. So if and when they ever decide to act on this house lot, they would have to the, the they'd have to come all the way across over here and then cross. So they under fully understanding that that wouldn't be a an easy thing to do, but that would be their legal access to the property. And they know that just by us defining it doesn't mean that they can necessarily do it. They still have to pass all the zoning and mm -hmm. state and federal and wetlands laws. How did John Harrison work? Um, oh, the building envelope. The building envelope probably. Looks like it's about 1,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so on Main Poland Road, they have all they have the frontage that is right along here, which is, which is, you know, quite sufficient for sure. a house lot. So they're seeking a standard conservation restriction similar to what we, what we did on on Dana Street's land, where um, they can still do forestry, agriculture, um, build trails <coughs> if they want to. They have retained their right of privacy, um, so they can post it or not. Um, mm -hmm. They currently, I don't believe, have it posted, and um, they're in Chapter 61B right now, and and so that would, I think, they would just leave it there in 61B until they have any other plans to do any building. And 
so the restriction I have met with the um, Conservation Commission already mm -hmm. and they did approve you know signing municipal certification attesting to the public benefit of does this lower the tax yeah. rate to them um, not necessarily but it's generally up to the town normally if the if the properties are already in a current use like 61 forestry or 61 B the towns do not lower necessarily lower it at all. They might just leave it the way it is because that is an open space assessment. Sure. So I don't I don't believe that the town would would be changing their assessment. And of course, I don't have no idea of their plans when or when or if, but they've retained the right to build, which would be at some point be a you know an increase in assessed value. Okay. So. Um, I just wonder why they, why they, they just just from my own yeah. wondering why they put this road down on the main pond because they've got enough road frontage. Right. Well, this is said to on be on Harrison Road, which is an official town road. Right. But it, yeah, according but to the does research, it end, does it end before that? According to the research, they said it, the um, it was said to be discontinued at that point here. Where did it discontinue? Right, right. here. Right uh, there. Nope. Right over here. No, on this map, where the order just continue? Yeah, right, right here. There. Oh, so this is up beyond that. Okay. Yes. Okay, I yeah. like it. Then. That's so why they did what they did. Okay. Yes, exactly. I think they would rather just drive in 20 feet and and build, but I, you know. You and sure it's not just it continues right at the turnaround. I it believe. discontinues right at the turnaround. Yeah. And that's not to say they couldn't. I assume, you know, try to petition something if they wanted to, but that's not for us to really right. They've been out to decide. So they needed to save that, you know, save yeah, that. I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob, do you have any other questions? No, I don't think so, but I would like to see in the future, John, that with the board, when we have future discussions with cases like this, that we have invite our uh, assessors in to meet with us to discuss mm -hmm. any ramifications of tax decreasing yeah. that we, we should be aware of, if there is any, sure. at the same point in yeah. time. So we're not left out in the dark. Absolutely. I totally agree. The town has, the my understanding of the um, <coughs> the way towns can assess conservation land is it's fairly left up to them. There's not a straight um, law that says if you're under a conservation restriction, it's X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Normally, they might put it into 61B mm -hmm. assessment. So, yeah. the fact that this land is already in 61B mm -hmm. assessment, There's probably no change. I yeah, don't anticipate that. that there will be change, but that's not right. Well, that's, that's, what, that's, that's just what our we, experience. Well, yeah. That's what we like to hear. I have yeah. our assessor's uh, office tell us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? No, I think good job. Okay. Um, all right, I'll make a motion based on the municipal <coughs> certification of our Conservation Commission and the fact that it doesn't look like uh, this property will be changed in assessment at all. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve this. Second. All right, all in favor? Right. So I did not, um, my notary stamp broke today, so I can't notarize this, but I can leave it for you two to sign and. If someone else is okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to we'll sign, sign it and yeah, we'll, we'll have. We'll get, uh, we'll get some. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have a clean page there? Is yes. That, it's not double sided, is it? I just want to make sure they're going to. Yes, it is. Okay. Here, why don't you use this one? <laughs> well, I'm freaking out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I always make sure to print it single. Oh, yeah. Just that one sentence right here. That's just the one page. Yeah. We will probably not be recording this until um, probably October. <laughs> when the, um, the chefs he's come to visit. I'm just going to take one more look around and then, and then um, finish it up. So we'll be holding it until then. I'll give that to you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Great. Thank you Appreciate kindly. It. Thank you very much. Good seeing you again. You too. Good seeing you. Thank, Thank you. you.
on the next item is vote to transfer funds to cover fiscal 2016 legal bill. Do you have and something on that? We do not need to do that now. The uh, we'll table that? Yes. Okay. Table. Good. Wonderful. We like them. Thank you. Okay. Okay, next item is to sign employee recognition letters for um, three employees. Uh, Phyllis Darcy for election worker for 20 years. Daisy. Uh, Daisy, I'm sorry. Uh, Daisy. Uh, Ken, we met. Um, he served on the police department and is currently police chief. He's been on for 35 years. Randall Williams has been an EMT, truck driver, laborer, substitute, and reserve officer for 20 years. I'll make a motion that we sign those employee uh, recognition letters. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we'll sign those after the close of the okay. meeting. Uh, okay. Next item is uh, Peter, you're up. Hi, folks. Hi, Peter. <coughs> the new ecology contract. Now this is something that we've already discussed with Bryce, correct? This uh, was the meta grant yes. that we wrote last year for yep. twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. When we put it out to bid, we had two phases. Yep. And we're only asking you to commit to the first phase right now and see what they come up with. See what the result of the January, the July 28th meeting in terms of how that land can be used. I guess I the upcoming meeting. Yes. Yeah. Are you good folks idea. going to that? Yes, yeah. Good. So um, that that first phase is a total of four thousand. Four thousand dollars, right? Okay. And if that turns out okay, then we would the come back phase. to you. We would write a second. I mean, there's, we would edit the second phase that's in the original proposal and their response to it and then ask you for approval for that uh, at that time. Okay, so we're, we're covered with, uh, with grant funds on this? Yes. Okay, that's great. We'd like, we like to hear that. <laughs> and by the way, you guys have done a really fantastic job on this, both, both uh, community solar as well as uh, solar ops. Yeah, Bryce, Bryce has put in a huge amount of work on the community solar, and hopefully this project will move forward to the installation project. Are we going out to bid again? Yeah, to the central register a week from tomorrow. A week from Wednesday. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's terrific. Very, very good. Uh, any other questions? No. Okay. I'll make a motion that we sign the contract for New Ecology Inc. Uh, this has been a, um, approved by a grant that the, the Energy Committee got uh, last year, was it? Last year. Yeah, I think it's almost a full year ago that we wrote that, right? Because they, I think the second, uh, another, you told us another round was coming up, so it must be a full year ago now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for uh, the town solar slash community shared solar consultancy project. Do I have a second? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Peter. There. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much. We'll keep you posted. Thanks. Tom, do we have any items not anticipated in 48 hours? I do not. I do not. Okay. Uh, you have your update, Tom. Yes, I do. Uh, just one piece for committees. Uh, the interns from the Japanese Stilt Grass Control Project run by the Open Space Committee will be heading out on the roads starting in August. There are two newly discovered patches of the grass. Um, they discovered last year, they discovered two newly discovered patches on Reedsbridge Road and the South End of Pine Grove Cemetery and on Whateley Road, very near the Whateley Town Road on the west side. They're according, coordinating with the highway department about mowing. Uh, for departments, there's a lot of news. Uh, I will have the recognition for the uh, town resident to be signed on Thursday. 
Uh, her birthday is Sunday. So uh, I'll have something in here for you all to sign okay. there. Uh, Bob is out of town, but since, uh, since I think we should uh, also get it framed, um, I, you know, we can present it and then take care of that later. Right. Yeah. Um, is that definitely something he's not saying? Yeah, the 17th. That's when that is. Uh, also, I think they said it wrong the other day, don't you? That was Saturday, but I, I couldn't read Well, you can always check the website, <coughs> which has a notice on it. Uh, straight from uh, Kate Frank. Sunday. Sunday. Uh, as you know, my assistant has decided to take a part-time position at the Franklin Regional Council of Governments, citing better pay. Uh, she'll be working here until the end of the month. I will advertise in the quarter this week along with advertising for the highway clerk position as we did not get any interest in that through local postings. It was in the visitor on the website and out in the front, uh, out in the front posting board. So we got no interest, so we're going to the, to the newspaper for that. The FY 2017 insurance invoices came in high for general liability but low for workers' comp. So the FY17 insurance budget looks secure. Good. The Delabar Avenue engineering project is proceeding. There will be some drilling on Delabar Avenue on Thursday, July 21st to determine the underlying soil starting about 7.45 to 8 a.m. and continuing through the workday. The highway superintendent will be notifying the residents of Upper Baptist Hill Road well in advance. Everyone will be able to get out, mm -hmm. but the road will be officially closed. Um, mm -hmm. it, 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 there's no problem with the school bus because school's out of session. Yeah. Um, but they, for their own workers' safety, and uh, it, it'll be tight with the, their drilling yeah, equipment. Sure. Uh, there are two locations. They will start drilling in the road near the erosion area closest to orchard equipment. And then uh, at the second location in the curve of the road, as time allows after that. Uh, I was asked by Bruce Joannette to contact the, uh, the state regarding a bear that has been seen near the elementary school. I contacted Fish and Wildlife, who said that bears will generally shy away from humans and that they saw no reason to intervene. They forwarded some educational material, which I in turn forwarded for to Bruce for use at the school. What I think we need to do there is, like, me and my wife had to do the same thing at our store because we had bear problems. They got a dumpster down there with a plastic cover on, it, on the top. Mm -hmm. and the big bears get up on top and jump and dump on the cover until they drive it down inside the dumpster <laughs> to get to the food <laughs> and, the, and the waste food. Mm -hmm. And then they had the fancy day. <coughs> so, we had to contact our dumpster rental company, and they bought us up a dumpster with a metal top on it, and that stopped all the problems. Sure. So well, we, I, would, I would, we would recommend, yeah. I, we probably should mm -hmm. take a vote and ask Tom to send the local school committee a vote to have them look into getting a dumpster with a metal top. Why don't I just call Bruce? Sure. Well, Bruce suggested that, I think, and I don't think he got it. Anymore. Oh. Because he consulted me about it, and we had comments about it earlier, and he said that they, they didn't go anywhere. So I just think the board of it said, you know, if you want to solve your bear problem, that's what you need to do. You're not going to stop a bear from coming through the neighborhood. That's just the nature of the nature. And I'm going to be uh, meeting with the. Uh, now that we have a new, new principal, principal mm -hmm. who wasn't, the you know, other principal has left, so right. retired, so. Right. Um, she may be more willing to look at something like that. I will be meeting with her. Yeah, that's probably one of the bears that visits me. There's some huge bears on I have a bear that yeah. comes that has got to be 350 mm -hmm. pounds. Is yes. that part of your bear herd? You, that's that's <laughs> part of the, part of the, well, there's the deer herd, and then there's, 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 the, there's, there's got to the be four different bear that are bears that have well, that come by. You know that bear that my daughter got last year during, during the bear season, mm -hmm. that was in the same neighborhood. Yeah. Five in the same bear family. And that was 385 pounds. Yeah. That's a huge bear. Yeah. So. 
They're out there. And they can do damage when they're on them. I'm sure. Let me uh, see that. Yeah, that's the correct one. Um, I had to hold it for myself. Uh, <clears throat> Aside from the legal account and the Zoning Board of Appeals, mm -hmm. all departments are ending the year within their budgets. Um, to be fair to the Zoning Board of Appeal, their, their uh, appeals, their uh, budget for this year was one dollar. And uh, we did have a... Oh, hold on. We had a legal ad. And it's a good thing we had it in there so that it was an open account so we could transfer money into it. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, uh, requested a reserve fund transfer for the legal bill, uh, the final legal bill, which was $1,582.50 with only $15 in the account. We have raised that budget for next year. And the ZBA, which had a legal ad this year, about $60. The Finance Committee has authorized the transfer from the reserve account for these items. Okay. How can you authorize the, uh, their budget to be increased at the time being? Uh, the Finance Committee can transfer money from the reserve account to any account. Yeah. And in the last two months of the fiscal year, uh, and then including up to July 15th, the Select Board, together with the mm -hmm. Finance Committee, can transfer money between I accounts. That. So they, uh, they transferred money from the reserve account. The new fiscal year 17 budget says what, $1? No. At the present time it did? It's $100. I $100. raised it. Okay. Um, Anticipating that there might be some activity, yeah. it, it still might not be enough. If we if if we have to have two ads, it wouldn't cover it. But if we have one, it'll. Cover I understand it. if they have to go over it. And, and, uh, I thought you were saying that you inc automatically increased your budget from what it was this past year that, that we voted in, in April town meeting or May town meeting. So that's probably not the case. I thought you would anticipate that you took the new budget that was approved at the last town meeting. Yes. Okay, I'm going to increase it. Oh, no. No, no. The, at the previous town meeting, it was $1. Uh, yes. And I increased it to $100 okay, for it. this coming, uh, for uh, FYC. Yeah. Um, okay. I am working with Pam Parmakian, who spoke to you not long ago, on a new community development strategy for the town necessary to be part of the community development block grant application. Mm -hmm. She's laid out the steps to take and additional information she'll need. So I'm working on that. The treasurer is working on a couple of foreclosures. I don't have full information yet, but we'll share it with you when I do. Okay. And the Festival of the Hills has contacted me to get public safety staff together to discuss what it would take to provide services. They would like the services to be free of charge, which of course would be a select board decision. Okay. So. Uh, They've asked that all of the public safety staff and I meet with them mm -hmm. at some point. Give um, them some estimate of the cost. I, yeah, as, as far as I can see, what, what we need to find out is from each department what it would cost to provide services for the Festival of the Hills, and then we come up with a total, and then you know what, you're, what the results of the decision you're making. Yeah. So well, I think it's going to be, I think that probably would have to be a two-part meeting because we've got to hear from them at first as to what they want. Well, we can give them a quote on the price. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, they'll tell us and yeah. we'll come back and get the figures and then I'll bring them to you and you can make that decision. So that is all I have. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Do we have any concerns of the selectmen tonight? Bob, you have any have concerns? you, uh, uh, well, just to touch up the base in two weeks ago, Tom, have you made any progress on them uh, bushes around the position? No. I will raise that. I've been asking around to find, try to find yeah. out who's on our garden, uh, club. garden club, and I still yeah. haven't got any concrete answers. Uh -oh. <laughs> I guess I haven't got to the right person yet. Oh, there's, there's, there's a dozen ladies on the garden club. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, mail. Okay. Unfortunately, we do have a, an official letter of, of resignation from uh, our very able um, administrative assistant, uh, Liz, uh, that she is leaving us, unfortunately, and she will be missed. 